Hello everybody, a one time episode of Mixed Mo's, and in this episode, we're gonna be working on a little Hater 48, which I got in as part of another job lot from the same firm I got the last lot from. So don't worry, all the other lawnmowers you, I've shown uh, in the previous job lot, they'll be coming up, okay? I just got another job lot just coming. So I'm sort of trying to pick through what I can, what's gonna get up and running first, quickest and sell the quickest, especially this time of year. So all the other stuff will be coming in. On top of that, my Amazon wishes has been going bonkers. My postman's been working overtime. Uh, Mrs. P thought I was buying stuff off of Amazon, but it's all addressed to Mixed Mowers and Riley Boys, so um, I can't get over the generosity of some of you guys and girls. The first thing I received, um, not off my Amazon wish list, but just um, through talking to my sponsor uh, over at Pro Parts Direct, they sent me their complete Kevlar um, four belt system for my ride on mower. Um, that's not cheap, but that's, that's substantial. Uh, they said, um, Originally, that I'd pay the pay the shipping, but um, they, it just turned up. So uh, they send it over free of charge. So absolutely super happy. Thank you guys and girls over at ProPartsDirect.net. Go and check them out. They're super cool for all your bits and pieces. On top of that, um, I sent off for this the other day. Of, no, the other day. Five months ago, I sent this off um, in March, which is when we got locked down originally. And this has just turned up. This has been in shipping for about five months. It's been crazy. Um, the original carburetor for this, this is off the um, six and a half horse Briggs Intec, which is the original engine on the ride on mower. I've since swapped it. I'm going to be swapping it back because I believe that the needle and seat had gone on the old carburetor and it is severely corroded. So this carburetor cost me £11, where a, a genuine would cost you about £40 to £50. So I got that one cheap, cheap, cheap from Wuhan. Um, and it comes with all the gaskets set, all that sort of good stuff. And also, um, it can't, I've got a free gift of little um, files there for your carburetor, so that's super cool. So happy with that. So the, the original engine will go back on and the Briggs engine will come off because I think the flywheel is a lightweight flywheel on there and it, that's why it's not running uh, as it should do. So that will be coming back up on the engine swap and belt set, which would be lovely. Um, somebody has purchased, now lots of these don't have names on which is a bit of a bit of a pickle. Someone has purchased me four SV or RV150 foam filters, uh, which is fantastic. I can also cut these up and use them for two stroke stuff as well. What I tend to do is get a pair of scissors or a craft knife, cut them in half, so you get two filters, and then cut them into squares to fit strimmers. That's what I tend to do. So someone's bought me four of those, happy with that. Someone's also bought me a set of Briggs and Stratton Honda filters as well. Again, no name on that one, so let them know if that was you. Super happy with that. Ken Small Engines has sent me a um, a small, um, a, sort of a big set of small uh, little needle nose pliers, long uh, long nose pliers, side cutters. Um, there's about a six or seven piece set there. Uh, that's from Ken Small Engines. Also, Ken Small Engines has also purchased me a set of uh, six peaks long reach hook and pick set uh, draper set as well. He sent me those. So Ken, you're an absolute star. On top of that, he has also sent me, or not me, he sent me a little Riley boy, a little package. I know what's in there. Um, it's, it's a big Kinder Egg surprise box selection off my wish list. He's gonna go absolutely crackers when he sees that. So that's cool. Um, so thank you, Ken Small Engines. Ken's just hit 600 subscribers. So go and check Ken's Small Engines out. Uh, he's super cool. I picked up a belt for a Honda HRX uh, 276, I think it is. Um, that'll be coming up in a video shortly. I'll show you that one. Somebody also sent me off my Amazon wish list. Uh, who is this? Which has got a note on this one. Uh, enjoy your gift, Mick. Uh, keep up the great work and brilliant content coming. All the best from, from your family, from uh, Ashley Barrett. He sent me a, um, a little gift via my Amazon wish list. He sent me a complete set again of carburetor cleaning files as well. So, that's, so now I've got loads of those. So I, I do go through them. So that's super cool. Got that, got that, got that. Also, I've got this one as well. This didn't come off my Amazon wishes. This is just a gift. Um, not quite sure um, what he was thinking. <clears throat> but this is from, you all know and love him, uh, Top Conquer. He sent me a t-shirt that says, you've been conquered. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. I might grow into it one of these days. Um, not quite sure what he was thinking there. He got about a size 16 triple X large. So cheers, Phil. Um, yeah, it, it's great. Uh, uh, Mrs. P might better might better put it in the old tumble dryer, but look at the size of that. Absolutely mahoosive. But anyway, thank you, Phil. Much appreciated. Hopefully it will shrink down a little tiny bit and I'll be able to get into it and fit it. But otherwise... Uh, I might uh, I might tie it to the side of its shed and use it as a use it as an awning. 
So thank you very much for that, Phil. I think that's it. Let me double check. I think that's it. I think that's everything I got. So as you can see, got lots of stuff. Absolutely happy as Larry. But some of you guys and girls have sent me some little packages and parcels to help me along my way on my YouTube channel. So that's enough chit chat. Um, let's have a little look, see what I've got in, see what's coming up. And then we'll have a little look at this Hater 48 that hopefully I'm gonna get running today. I think I've already know what's wrong with it when I picked up a little sneaky peek at it and uh, it should start hopefully and run, fingers crossed, and should sell for a pretty penny for what I paid for it. So without further ado, let's get down on dirty and let's check out these mowers. Right, so as you remember, I've still got the Viking, um, which is just there, the light, light green one, that's still in there. Uh, the drive doesn't work on that. I have had it running to a fashion. Um, so that should be coming up. Got the Tecumseh fly mow there as well. Uh, that ran in the last video, but um, I have tried to start it since and it is playing up a little tiny bit. So it may need a bit of work, but hopefully that, that will sell quite well next year. Also got the Hater um, Ranger 53. Uh, gonna have problems with that, I know I am, because the gearbox isn't working on that one, as per my last video. Uh, but that runs sweet as a nut, so that might have to be converted to a push mower if I can't find the drive mower to it. So that's that. Had this little steel come in. This is a steel um, HM84RC. Uh, uh, that's come in for repair. The, um, the blades aren't spinning, so that came in yesterday. Also got this one in. Um, Honda HRX 426. Bought this off of um, a selling site. And I've had a quick little look at it. It all runs, nothing wrong with it, um, but the drive is very, very weak, and it was sold as drive not working. The drive does work, but uh, it only just pushes it along. So he put it into a garage, into a, a mower shop to be looked at, and they diagnosed it with a 350 pound bill to say it requires a new gearbox. However, I have just bought a new belt for it because the belt looks particularly um, worn. So I'm gonna try and slap a new belt on it first, just do my own investigations and see whether or not they're right. Even if it needs a new gearbox, um, it'd be money well spent. Resell for good money. This is a 2017 model. Um, and uh, yeah, should sell really well come, come the season. So let's nip outside and see what else I've picked up. Right, as you can see, it's very, very windy. You might get some wind interference today. We've got storms just coming. There's the old Halloween coffin. That's a complete washout this year, uh, but there you go. Um, picked up a nice little mount field down here. Um, that's the drive one. Uh, that all runs, or fires, but the, the blade cover's knackered on that. Someone contacted me just the other day and said, this is free to you if you can want to come and get it. Suffolk Punch, Crowcast engine, uh, a Decumpsy engine. Um, but the main gear cog's gone on that. Uh, all runs, uh, just wants a new gear cog. We're about £11 for those. And they said, uh, if you want it, come and get it, no problem. Uh, Mountfield 414, that's fully serviced and it runs. There's a video out on that already. So you should see that one coming. Funny story about the grass box. I'll tell you about it another day. Um, that come with a lawnmower, but with a spare grass box, which I sold. Um, yeah, hilarious. I'll tell you about that another day. Atco, that came in as well, part of the job lot. Um, that, I haven't had it even tried running yet, but the, um, the roller doesn't spin. So that would be a one to come on up. Also picked up a Mountfield um, SP185. Um, not done anything with that. It's done a lot of miles by looking at the wheels. The wheels are all fully bald, but hopefully that will run. It's very, very clean, that one too. There's a Hater 48. Um, as I say, a lot of wind. You might get some wind interference. Let me come around the other side a bit. Uh, Hater 48 there. Um, electric start as well. I haven't had it running, but I have noticed that this cable here is brand spanking new. That's brand new. See that? Brand new cable. But when I pull the cable back, you can see it's not really activating that switch. I wonder if that's a problem with this little machine. We'll have a look at that today. Uh, the Mountfield 414 that I just showed you um, was missing the uh, drive handle to it and uh, they're 20 pound on eBay uh, for a new drive handle for one of these. Uh, I found this at my, my uh, dealer who I go to and he sold me the complete lawnmower without the grass box for a fiver. So now I have taken the handle off of this one to make the other one work and work and sort of sell. But now I've got a complete spare engine, um, RS100 engine and what have it and handles for 
for that, so I'm happy with that. Another mount field came in, SP470, a uh, push mower, done nothing to it at all. Um, bit of oil I'm leaking out of it, but the deck is in good condition. Also picked up this one, Enhale as well. Not overly fond of these, they sell these in screw fix, uh, not screw fix, um, wixes, and the driver, or the drive is always an issue on these. The wheels tend to bow out and they strip the gears, but uh, that's in. Um, the deck's in really good nick, so I need to have a look at that one as well. I've not even tried firing any of these yet. The gearing cable looks a little bit suspect as well. Someone's had a little go at that. So um, that's what I've got in. So amongst my other bits and pieces, the fly you've already seen and that other stuff at punch as well, which is missing the bar. If anyone knows where there's a bar for this, let us know uh, for, the, for the box. So that's that. So yeah, I think we'll have a little look at this um, Hater 48 first, because that'll sell. Uh, that'll sell straight away. We'll have a look at that one, get that up on the bench. I'll get the Honda off and uh, we'll crack on with that one. Right, let's get this, this, uh, this Hater first. Just to show you what I mean. So on a chug, that seems a bit, that's working. Yeah, it's working. Pull the dead man in. Nothing. But I have noticed that this handle is not pulling all the way back. I don't know if it'll start if I pull that, that back a bit more. No. Let's get up on a bench and have a look at this. Um, I believe that uh, it could be quite a quick, easy fix. The driver is saying it's working, it's locking back. Um, so hopefully um, we can turn this around quite quickly. Let's have a quick look. Okay, here's the hater. First thing I want to check with this is um, see if it's choking or not. That's the first thing I want to do. Um, I don't mind telling you, I paid under, under 20 pound for this machine. Way under 20 pound. Um, which is fantastic. The air filter, um, it's not too shabby. It's been used, but uh, it was replacing, but uh, it's not in the, the worst condition ever. But uh, we'll change it anyway. Got a pre-filter on there as well. Now, let me just set this machine to choke, which I think is, is pretty much there anyway. That's as far as it wants to go. <laughs> And that's not choking at all. So I don't know whether you can see that. Let me pull up, flap it back a bit. See that? That's actually set to choke. And look, there's a there's a flap. It's not actually choking at all. See that? So that's the first thing to do is get that to get that to run to choke. So let's get yourself set up, and we'll have a little look to see why this machine isn't choking. I've got to remove this screw here, this screw here. That will release the, the top cover. And then I'm going to take out these screws here, which will then give me um, access to a carburetor. Right, let's make the start then. Let's remove this screw here first. And then that one there. And that will remove the cover off of it. All the springs are on, in place. But that's not, that's not engaging the choke. So <clears throat> what I might do first, I'll just undo this one and see if I can't encourage that to choke a bit more. Because at the moment it's not choking. I'm gonna give it a bit of a WD-40 spray on top as well, a bit of a happy birthday. Just to try and free some of it up. Where we can. And see if it doesn't improve stuff. Make it run a bit better. Yeah, no, that's actually stopping there. That's not doing anything at all. Okay, so let's now just remove this screw here. Cool, my word. Just wanna remove that. Slack them that off so we can just get over this cable to see why that's not 
doing its job. There it goes. That's now choking that machine. So I'm gonna do that back up now. It might have just slipped. Uh, we're set to choke on the on my throttle lever as well. That's done up. Right, that's now choking here. You can see the flap is now closed. Let's now take it off of choke, which is there. And uh, is that opened? Yeah, it's open fully. Back onto choke. Choking. So now that carburetor is now actually choking. Let's try and fire it up just on the, on the top here. <coughs> Any go go juice in there? A uh, very small amount. <coughs> Let's put a bit of juice in there. Just to wet its whistle. Uh, fuel cap. Right, so now we've actually got a choking carburetor. It wasn't before the cable has just slipped yes yeah, choking lovely okay so let's put it onto choke dead man's handling let's open the door a smidge i want to whack my hand nothing okay off a of choke i was at carburetor will flood so what i'm going to do next um i'm going to take the cable off the top end of the handle okay and just shorten that up i believe that that cable is too long and not activating the switch let me turn the machine around and i'll show you what i'm talking about right so i've got you right close as close as i dare as you can see this cable is brand spanking new okay it's brand new um at the moment the dead man's handle is um currently um not locked off i can see the switch just here here's a micro switch <coughs> so now if i activate that dead man's handle you might be able to see that's now activated okay it's as far back as it would go you can now see just here let me get in a bit closer you can now see just here that micro switch is not cleared okay it's not cleared that that little tiny switch here it wants to go further in i reckon by adjusting this about 10 mil we should be able to activate that that switch is not is not uh, is not uh, open okay that's why it's shorting out and won't start so as you can see the dead man's hand is activated but look there's just so much slack here. So I'm gonna remove the dead man's handle cable off of there, and I'm gonna cut that about there, and I'm gonna reduce that cable by about 10 mil, okay, We're using my uh, cable shortening trick. I'm gonna to have to remove all of this throttle cable to do it, I think, because I can't get it near the vise, so I have to take this off um, to get the cable out so I can shorten it. So let me get that done, and I'll come back in two ticks. Right, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but um, I think we can do it in here. I've got lots of uh, bits and pieces everywhere. So I've just literally, as I say, take the cable off the machine. I'll get a bit closer if I can. That's it. And all I'm going to do is with my cable crimpers, so you can get these on Amazon or eBay if you look up uh, cable uh, crimper or connectors, 1.5 mil, okay? Just want to put that in and reduce that by about 10 mil, which is roughly about... Um, five mil of a size so you put five and five and then put that into your vise make sure you get it right it's going to be about there i'm just going to pinch this um this vice up a touch just so we get a bit closer that's it and when you've got it about right you want to give that a little tiny squeeze in the old vice bit fiddly but once you've got it half sorted, just about just before it pinches down, just make sure you've got it exactly where you want it. It's going to be about there, give or take. Once it's been pinched once and it locks into place, you can then remove it again in a minute to get a better purchase on it. Okay, but that's now locked in place, so that's not going to move anywhere, and we have reduced it by about 10 mil. Okay, so now I can put it in the vice where I want it gonna be about there and squeeze it up now some people just use um just pliers and what have you but I find it best to actually crush these all the way flat that way it don't slip out 
with that done, that's now repaired. I'm going to do a bit more on this bottom side just to make sure we get it all. My, my vice is well battered. It is a good vice. Put that in there like so. Squeeze that one up. That's it. That's repaired now. That ain't going nowhere. Let's get it fitted back to the machine and I'll show you that it clears the switch. And just here, you can see that that's a dead man's switch there. Now this, this sliding part here moves and this is a pit that, this is the bit that stops a connection, okay? Now what we want to do is activate the handle and you'll see now that actually now clears that switch. Now the only concern I have is, is I may have gone a little bit too far and that looks like it's floating to me. It is. So actually I won't be able to turn that machine off. So now with a flat headed driver, what I'm gonna do is just adjust that ever so slightly by tipping that up without breaking it, of course, to about there. So now you'll see that that won't actually float. That's now stuck solid, okay? And then when I would activate the handle, you see it drop down, there you go. See that moving? So now that will actually now shorten that out. Okay, so that's now fully working. So what we now do, I'll put this throttle mechanism back together and I'll come back once I've done that. Right, that's all now on and uh, clears the switch as I showed you earlier on. Um, I've got the uh, air cover here with the pre-filter. That can now go on. Like so. And uh, Lake mill on there. We do that up. Make sure a crankcase breather's on, which it is. Now, as I say, this machine hasn't been able to get it started yet, so it, it may want the carburetor cleaned, all that sort of good stuff yet. Got absolutely no idea. Um, got the cover as well. That can go on. Just got to locate the screws, which should be on my bench somewhere for this. And there they are. I did put them to one side. So a little tiny screw goes into that one. And then that big self tapper. Now I wonder if someone actually put this in for repair at a lawnmower shop, because that cable's brand new and uh, it didn't work, but uh, we should see. Um, new air filter in, let's take it outside, give it a fire up, see if it won't start, um, and we'll go from there. But as of yet, I haven't had to do anything with it other than uh, what you've seen. So it'll be a live fire up outside, let me get you positioned, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a quick little look. Right, just position the old camera. So I haven't pulled it, I've done nothing with it yet. Let's do a quick, see what we all was doing. Before we do anything, all is about halfway up where it needs to be in quite black, so it will want an all change if it starts up. Um, so I'll be checking for, uh, see if it starts, see how it runs, uh, check the drive quickly as well in case it does fire, because uh, without the drive it's not worth anything, and uh, we'll go from there. But bear in mind, I only paid just under £20 for this machine, so we'll see how we get on. So on to choke, dead man now in. Boom. Yeah, the drive works, the drive's a bit tight. That one's adjusting. So it's running.
tide was lovely. Yeah, the roll is spinning. When um, not engaged, I've got to adjust that drive to slacken it off slightly. I hear the belt squealing. Just going to adjust the drive. Was about squealing. Well, happy. That's on to choke. machine also shuts off which is what it should do. Try and fire it again. Look at that. Idles all the way down. That's sweet that is. Super happy. Okay, so there you have it. Um, nice little hate of 48. I don't know what year it is, um, but I'm pretty sure it was thrown away in the tip because it wouldn't start and it looks like a brand new cable has gone on there it's not the right cable i must admit it is like off a mount field or something like that it should have um, the two pronged arrow um cable in there so it's not the right cable but fully functional if set up correctly and also it wouldn't pull backwards i could hear a little bit of belt squeal because the drive was too tight also so i've slackened that off and it fired up first pull absolutely lovely it idles it does exactly what it should do a height of 48 for under 20 pound can't go wrong there that machine will now go forward, have a full service, blade sharp and balance. I've already done the air filter, it'll have to have um, um, oil change, new plug, all that sort of lovely stuff, and then it'll be up for sale very, very soon. So there you go, that's how you do it, quick style, um, mixed mower style. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mowers. If you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and whack your bell. Set notifications to all, that way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to seeing the next episode very, very soon, but until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, Take her easy.